Okay, now Kansas, I mean, fire me up here. I know it's the number one team. Place is going to be rocking. Hugs is going over to the mountain layer today to fire up the students. Uh, make me a believer. Well, you got a 50-50 chance anytime you walk out onto the floor, you know. And uh, Not straight. true. What do you mean? I mean, it's not true. It's not it's a 50-50. It's 100% true. You're either going to win or you're going to lose. It's a 50-50 proposition. No, it's not, because if I flip a coin... There's a 50-50 proposition because it, the sides of the coin are equal, but the two teams tonight are not equal, so there's not a 50-50 chance. You have a 50-50 chance. You're either going to win or you're going to lose. Come well, with me here. Come all right. Along. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Come on. I'm, I'm, okay, go ahead. All right. I, 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 mean, ask, I ask you something, then I shot you down. Go ahead. I'm listening. I mean, it was just, I mean, you do have a, ch you have a chance to win or you have a chance to lose. One of the two. I mean, you know, Hoppy, um, You've got, to, you've got to be able to make shots. I mean, first and foremost, there's no way that you can win this in a tight game and think you're going to put this thing into the 60s. That's not the way that this game is going to go. They've got too much firepower offensively. Um, you know, you take a look at them, and they are the opposite of what West Virginia is. Um, this team is loaded with experience. They start four seniors. Among those four, three are fifth-year seniors, right? Wow. So you're looking at 23-year-old guys, 22, 23-year-old guys. Men. And, and they've got one freshman who happens to be one of the better players in the country as a freshman. And you've got West Virginia. You've got one guy, who's the, you've got one guy in the entire program who's, been a, who's a senior who's been in the program for four years. Other than that, you've got a junior college transfer who's a senior in his second year in the program and a junior um, who's a transfer into the program in his first year. So... They're, they're, they're direct opposites. They've got experience. They know how to play. And this is a Mountaineer team that's still very much trying to learn how to play. How can you be, and I don't want to be too critical, because, but, but you say still trying to learn how to play. It's January 28th. Yeah, I mean, you well, can, I mean, you, yeah, well I by mean, now, And by now, you, either you're settled in or you're not. And, nah, and you, you nah, can listen. I mean, nah, see, there's some, things, there's some things that take literally more than a full season to get used to. Uh, and again, I constantly, I hope it don't sound like a broken record, but I mean, I constantly go back to the young John Beeline teams when they had, you know, all those guys growing up together, J.D. and Pitts Noggle and those guys and Hare Bear. Mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't know how to finish games early on in their careers. And, you know, it showed. But as time went on, they, they got it and they learned. But it, unfortunately, there's no easy way to do it. I mean, it takes, it takes time. So that's the tough part about what we're going through. Uh, Hugs has been particularly candid this year, shall we say. Here's one of his quotes. I don't know how I can say this without being negative, but I don't think we p can play with less basketball intellect in certain situations than we did. I'm not sure if that was after the Oklahoma State game. or I mean, it all starts to run together after a while. And he also said, I think, in the postgame show with you, uh, or somewhere Saturday, that he wanted to go home and pull the covers over his head. Was that yeah. with you? Yeah, that was with us, yes. Yeah, that was with us. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's always been a guy that tells you what he's thinking, one way or the other. And um, he's frustrated. I mean, he's, I think he's at a loss, to be quite honest with you. He, he keeps saying, I've never had a team do this. And he's been doing it for 31 years. But never had a team in which he gives instruction to, and then they go out and do the opposite, or, you know, not everyone gets it. And so I think his frustration level is just, you know, at a peak. And I, don't, I think he's tried to pull, push every button that he could push, and still there's, there's no um, sign of what he wants to see on a consistent basis. Now, it should be noted, I mean, they're giving you little teeny spurts of it. You know, they can play eight good minutes, ten good minutes, a good half. But sustaining it is what keeps getting this team in trouble. Um, you know, they played a horrible first half against Iowa State, came back, played a really good second half. Right. Um, you know, they played a really good first half for the most part, good, good 15 minutes against Oklahoma State, and then go bad for 25 minutes. Um, so that's the thing that you just, so inconsistent. Some nights they make their free throws, some nights they don't make their free throws. Uh, unfortunately, the one consistent is they just haven't been able to shoot it well enough. This, I've got nothing. I mean, I've got nothing positive for you, Hoppy. I mean, if you're looking for, a, I am. If you're surveying for a golden nugget. I mean, I, I can't give you anything right well, now. Well, I, 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 it is what it is. It's. Um, I got to tell you too. Is was it the um, women's game on Saturday? And it's just there, there's a fog. <laughs> there's a fog because the wrestling team 
had just gotten uh, beat by uh, Iowa State, which is a very good wrestling team, and they're a national power year in and year out, 30-3. to three. Men just got whacked by Oklahoma State. Then the women got beat. They were up 14. They got beat by Iowa State. Somebody came in, they said, the, the women's tennis did beat the Marshall women's tennis, which was the, just looking for, speaking of looking for a nugget, that was all they could. Did you see that Northern Illinois had four points in the first half of their yes. game? And, you know, that's the second time they've done that this year. They had five <laughs> in a game earlier this year in the first I mean, half. I, I guess under the category of it could be worse. Exactly. It's always, you know what I hop? It's, it's, it's never as bad as you think, never as good as you think. Could this Kansas team, could they win it all? They could, could yeah, they? Yeah, I think it's going to be a really good NCAA tournament. I think it's wide open. Yeah, it is. There's no dom There's no team. It just is, oh, this is the team you have no, to No, I think, you know, I think you're going to see, I mean, Michigan, Indiana. I think you got the opportunity for Kansas. you got the opportunity uh, for Syracuse. You've got the opportunity for any of those teams to jump up. The tournament should be great. Yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm really thrilled. I can see I'm watching you on the video stream. I mean, your, your body language is not one guy that's fired up right now, Hoppy. Your head's down. I mean, it's not good. Fire it up, buddy. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. History says it'll be all right, Hoppy. Crowd will rock tonight. Crowd will be good. We're going to stripe the Coliseum tonight. Um, yeah, it'll be fired up and fun. It'll, it'll, give them some, it'll give these guys some energy. Believe me, I've seen stranger things happen. Well, okay. Then talk me... He, he, what you can't the crowd gets fired up. Kansas has a little bit of an off night because they had to travel too. I mean, it's it's a short week. They played Saturday, so it's a short turnaround. Of course, it's a short same for the Mountaineers, but at least you're back home. And uh, somebody, you know, West Virginia gets hot. I'm just, you know, what I'm saying. I'm just trying to make it up. I mean, and if you take a look, in all seriousness, if you take a look at. Kansas and, you know, any team, when they go on the road, it's just not in their same comfort zone. You know, right. Oklahoma State is 6-25 and 25, uh, in their last 31 Big 12 road games. They're great at home. They can't win on the road. And, and you know, you got a chance every time you're on your home floor. 